The Westdale Mall will officially close down at the end of the month for demolition and renovation. That means shoppers and store owners are taking advantage of the final moments of the 35-year-old mall. Fox 28 News reporter Brittany Borgie joins us now from Westdale with more. Brittany? Scott, by the end of this summer, the entirety of Westdale here behind me, with the exception of J.C. Penney and Yonkers, will be demolished. Now, that'll mean a lot of changes for the property here at Westdale, but today the consensus among shoppers was pretty clear. They're all sad to see it go. Well, I hope it with the clothes and I hope it does revitalize it and bring it back to what it used to be like. With its shuttered storefronts and closeout sales, Westdale certainly isn't the way Barb Denbaugh remembers it. I can remember 35 years ago when you were out here. And, I mean, you couldn't walk out here. It was so busy and stuff out here. And I miss that. Now there's plenty of space to walk. And a lot of the people we talk to get their exercise in here every day. I'm kind of sad because, like, I always walk out here. Winter and summer. Westdale was the place where Savannah Tesdale's mom made memories as a kid, and she's been doing the same thing with Savannah. I miss Claire's, um, I miss walking around, I miss just looking around and seeing all the neat things here, and it's pretty big, and I don't know why they're um, closing it down. The demolition and remodeling will make way for this new open-air concept with a two-acre park in the middle and a million square feet of stores. I'll put a pizza place in I love pizza. And while they'll keep walking until the doors close, many shoppers don't know if they'll be back to shop at the new Westdale. It all depends on what they put out here. I think tearing it down is tearing down a, a really important pass of Cedar Rapids. Yeah. I hate to see it go, but you know, what can you do? Nothing. Now, this isn't a trend just here at Westdale. No new enclosed malls have built have been built in the entire country since 2006, and in 10 years, 50% of them are expected to be shut down. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Brittany Borgie.